Yes. Okay. Were you? Is your name Ayana? Am I saying it right? Yes, Ayana. Ayana. Ayana, where you call me from, baby? DC. I was there yesterday. Okay, DC. I had so much fun in DC. It was a good time. Yes. Ayana, how old are you, love? Forty nine. Forty nine. And what you do for a living? I do community outreach. So I work in the mortgage banking industry, but I lead community outreach engagements for volunteers. Okay. What's your zodiac sign? Cancer. Cancer. You have any kids? Two kids, adult children, 27 and 25. Okay. Uh, both by the same man? Yes. Yeah. Have you ever been married? Never. Okay. And what do you, okay. So we got Ayana. You live in DC? I live in Silver Spring, Maryland. Silver Spring. Maryland. All right. So we got Ayana, DC, Silver Spring, Maryland. 49 is a cancer. She works in community outreach. Model two adult kids by the same man. What kind of man you looking for, girl? Um, a man who has his shit together. I mean, just a professional, um, funny, sense of humor is important. Um, has a good living career, has his stuff together, really um honest, genuine likes to do things like i enjoy doing things so i want someone who enjoys being out and doing things okay what are your deal breakers smoking cigarettes is a uh, automatic no that's disgusting um liars cheaters i mean the basics um too many like a lot of baby mamas baby mama dramas like disgusting abusers narcissists I mean, you know, all the all the things. Okay. Uh, so do you look a certain way? Um, I don't necessarily have a look, but I I'm five five, so I prefer someone five eight or taller. Um, I don't like obese men. Um, I work out every day. I don't get like that. I just like to eat, so I like to work out. So someone who's active and you know looks like they care about themselves. Pretty teeth are super important. Full lips, I love lips. So the mouth area is extremely important. Bad teeth is going to be a no automatically. Dirty hands, fingernails, no. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, what about money? Do you make a certain amount of money? Um, I would prefer. I mean, I make over a hundred, so I would prefer someone who can do the things. I like to travel. I prefer someone who can travel, who can go places, who want to do things. Um, I cook but i also like to go out to restaurants so people who like to just have money to do things that's it it doesn't if you can take care of yourself you have children you can take care of your kids and we can enjoy each other's company and it's not going to be a burden for you then you know I, I like my lifestyle so you need to be able to meet me where i'm at okay so should he make at least 100k that would be preferable okay would you date a man that made less or is that the minimum no, I mean, if again, if he can come and do things with me, I can't cover anybody. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I don't mind doing the treating for a date or things like that. Absolutely. But I can't pay for your vacations. I travel, my kids been to Africa, Jamaica, all those things. I've already paid for vacations. I'm not paying for his, so. I got you. I got you, boo. All right, Ayana, let's do the Kendra Cam. Okay, black bodysuit. Okay, you we see you. Okay, we can tell you work out. Thank you, Ayana. Do you want the guy to be in the DC area? Um, it's not mandatory. Um, I can travel. I mean, I prefer to meet because I'm an in person. Like words don't mean anything when you're talking. Like I don't even believe you if we have a connection until we meet because it's just words. Um, so I need to see the connection. The earlier we meet the connection will probably grow because i lose interest with into like all this chit chatting i'm gonna lose interest um so if we can set up and meet whether you know if it's driving distance i don't mind driving um i can fly you know things like that but i don't need one anyone to fly me out because i'm not i feel obligated like i was raised a man do all that you have to give them some so i don't need that <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean, this is, isn't a major issue, but if we're going to date and become serious, I would prefer you to be closer so that we can hang out and do things. I don't need a text buddy or a phone call buddy. Okay. What stage range you want to date? You're 49. 
Um, 40 to 55. So you'll go younger. Yeah. I, only because men needs, these men be looking a little bit old. And if he going to be old, he need to be a zaddy. Like he need to be looking like he got it. Um, so yeah, he could, but 40 and have his stuff together. I don't need an immature little boy. I need a man. Um, but if he's a little bit older too, again, if he has his stuff together and he don't want to just sit at home and be a lazy old man talking about, can I come over and lay up? No. But if he want to do things, he can move. He can go to these amusement parks and do the things I like to do. If he's 55 or 60, it's all good. Okay. But okay. When was your last relationship? It's been a while before the pandemic. Um, I was dating someone, I guess, more serious, but I wouldn't even really say that was a full relationship. But so um, I guess that probably ended about 2019. So okay, so what is that, like five years ago? Mm-hmm. Five years ago. But you said that wasn't a serious? No, it was like someone I was dating kind of exclusively for two years, but I wouldn't have said it was a relationship, but we were dating. And then before, that, I've been, that, yeah. I, I said before then I was in a relationship. So that one was probably prior to that. So like 2018. Gotcha. Okay. Um, you don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? It's a minute, girl. Two years. I'm struggling. <laughs> Are you waiting for a relationship? Um. I'm not necessarily waiting for a relationship. I'm just waiting for someone I feel connected to. I'm just not, I'm at that stage. I'm not just giving it up to anybody. It's not going to be a fly by night person. There's going to be a connection. I'm not saying I'm looking for him to be my husband, nothing like that. I'm not like, I don't call myself celibate. I just haven't found someone worth giving it to. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. All right. Three flaws you have to work on. Um, my mouth, meaning I am very blunt and direct. And so I keep, I'm working on and continue to work on. It's not what you say is how you say it. So I continue to work on that because I can say things very direct and I don't think as mindful of the other person, I think. Um, communication, I, um, Again, that goes with the being direct and blunt, but sometimes I can be, um, like to make a point, I go hard. If I think I'm right, I'm gonna go all in. So I need to watch what I say. And then um, another flaw, I mean, I have a few, but I just, you know, trying to stick to the good ones. <laughs> um, I would say that I can be um, like nonchalant in relationships. So people think I don't care but I do, and I'm just not for the BS. I cut people off, kind of, if it's not working. Okay. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you, Ayana? Um, overall, I think I am a really good woman and a good catch. I have myself together. I don't ask anything that I'm not willing to give. Um, I own my own home. I mean, I think those are, like, basic things. I have my car, home, all that stuff. I have a good career. I'm a good mother. I'm a good woman. I don't think cooking and cleaning makes you great, but I do those things. I am adventurous. I'm funny. I have a good sense of humor. I have my own money. I have my stuff together. And I'm just a whole vibe and fun to be around. Woo! You own your own house? Yes. So just out of curiosity, let's say you find someone that you're serious with. You already said he can't move into your home. So would y'all buy another additional house? Well, hopefully. So I like men who have their stuff together. Um, so hopefully he has his own stuff. I mean, you know what I mean? But we can buy something together if it ever got to that. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm looking for him to have his own. I don't, yeah. <laughs> there you have it. All right, Ayana, are you on the Kendra G Singles dating app? I'm not, but I was just over on, uh, where were you at before? Hey, IG, and I downloaded it, but I didn't activate it because I came over here. But I Okay, so what do you want to call your name? Um, maybe Always Yana. All right, spell it for the people. A-L-W-A-Y-S, Yana, Y-A-N-N-A, -N -N -A, Always Yana. Okay, that would be her username on the Kendra G Singles dating app. You keep me posted how it goes, baby. Thank you. Have a good bye, night. Bye, baby. All right. Bye. Bye -bye. Kendra G Singles, the dating app is available now on your iPhone and your Android phones. Just go to your Apple Store or your Google Play Store and download it now. Kendra G Singles, the dating app.